Hey, it's Lamar Scholl from Direction to Success. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in finding different and unique traffic sources. This isn't about solo ads. This isn't about Facebook ads or Google ads, but it is about ads, but not in the place that you would expect. This is a completely unique, different traffic source. So if you want to find out what it is, you're going to have to stick around. All right, this is going to be a fun one. You ready? Hey, 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 don't leave just because you see the word newspapers there. No, no, no. Stick around. I'm going to show you something that's real interesting. Listen, you want to put your ads in some major newspapers like the New York Times, Washington Post, USA Today? I believe there's more. I just can't remember them right now. I know there's more. Listen. This is a cool traffic source. Get your ads out on the major newspapers, right? Now, this isn't thousands or hundreds of dollars. It's cheaper. Just to put your mind at ease, right? Everybody thinks newspaper advertising is expensive. Not here, not in this website. And in four steps, it is so easy to do. It's simple. So what I wanna do is show you this is the sales page right here once you click on the link that I provided this is the sales page that you'll see but don't leave don't get scared when you see newspapers right listen to the video they talk about the benefits of this too right and it's always good to have different traffic sources now the way this works there's three packages that you can sign up for um, well, most of the time you can sign up for three. It looks like two and three are not available at this point. But if you're just getting started with this thing, I know you're going to be a little skeptical. Listen, try package number one just to get you started, right? And see what kind of results you get. So the sales page is just this video right here. Not too complicated. And they go through explaining this whole system, right? So I'm going to just leave that up to you to listen to that video. What I want to do now is show you the back office and what that looks like. And I'll just kind of break this down. Yeah, let me just get up to the dashboard right here. Sorry about that. So this is the back office and this is what it's going to look like to newspapers alive when you first come in. Now, just like it says on this video, watch the video, they're not that long, right? And the next thing you want to do is come down and they explain all this in the video. So I said there's four steps. So step one was watching the vid uh, video on the dashboard. Look, we're already on step two. Again, here's a video. I absolutely recommend listening to it. Okay, now what this is about, this is all US traffic. And that's really good, right? So you know you're gonna be getting 100% T1 traffic. Now, when you run your ad, you can't run it all over the United States at one time. They zoned everything out, I believe. Yeah, there's nine, 10 zones. So there's 10 zones across the US. They broke them out and they explain the reason why they broke out the zones like they did here in this video, okay? It's, a, it's really, really interesting. The next thing I wanna tell you is you when you run your ad, one of the steps you have to do to set it up, you have to pick three zones, right? So I chose zone two, zone four, and zone eight. So let's go find zone two. Zone two right here, you can see is the color red, right? Or, well, pink, sorry. Well, it's kind of dark pink, I guess, right? But anyways, that you could see right up here is in the upper right hand corner that's the whole state of new york right so it's a dark pink color zone four is the light pink color so that's more the southern states down here and florida right my last zone is zone eight which is red and you can see that's like the northern miss 
Midwest states, if you will, or uh, central states, I should say. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, the thing about zones, you don't have to stay with these zones for your offer, right? But I believe it's a minimum of one week. So once you select your zones and put your offer in, you have to wait one week to change them. And you can see they show you a little counter. That's what we're looking at here. I have just a little over three days before I can adjust my zones, right? Now, let's go down here. Oops, we're going to go to the next page, I guess. So I'm going to show you on the next page. Oh, we're going to do our offer. But I'm going to show you why, you know, you might want to change zones and which ones to change. But to start your first time, you really don't know. I believe they recommend three zones for you. Matter of fact, I know they do. I left the three zones they recommended for me. I had to start somewhere. I'm like, why not? You could change them, but not knowing how well your ad's going to do in each zone and understanding what these zones are about, I would just leave their recommendation. Like I said, you have a week to change that. Now, later, a little bit later on, I'm going to show you how you'll know what zones you may or may not want to change. But before we do that, I want to get into step three. So step one, watch video. Step two, just leave the three zones they have selected. Watch this video, right? It's just that easy. You got to keep things simple. Now, the next step is where you're going to actually edit your offer. You're going to create your offer, right? So again, you watch the video right here. I like how they put the video with each section, right? So this is the ad I've done right here. And this editor is very typical of most editors. You can add images, obviously your links and everything like that, right? So it doesn't take long. This is pretty cool. This is basically kind of the same type of copy that you would use on your capture page, right? So once you're done with that, you're going to save this. Now, the editor and they tell you right in here you can change this at any time with your ad running unlike the zones you have to wait a week you can come in here as often as you want and edit your offer right you can change maybe misspelled something you want to add something remove something right so like i said all that can be done right here so that's step three now we're going to move up to the top here again sorry for all the bouncing around now the next step and final step is tracking your campaign again they have a short video here just you know you want to watch that this is my statistics right here so you can see the three zones remember like the pink and the dark pink and the red zone so you can see how well i'm performing now i just started using this a few days ago, I don't know, maybe, you know, whatever, let's see. Yeah, like five days, six, five or six days, five days ago, sorry. Um, so I'm just getting started, but I wanted to show you like early on what this is like. I'm gonna do another video later where I'm gonna track more, you know, where I have more data and kind of explain it a little bit more. But like everything I do, it's more important just to get started and get going. When they said newspapers, I'm thinking my competition isn't here. That's the big thing, right? My competition is in Facebook ads. My competition is in solo ads, right? Your competition, same places. How many of the, you know, people, you know, like your competition, how many of them are thinking newspapers, right? So I kind of got sidetracked there a little bit, but this is my main reason for choosing this traffic source. And it's easy, it's so easy to do. And if you have any questions at all, you know, you can email me at lamar at direction to success.com. You can get a hold of me on Facebook. You can leave a comment down below on this page in my website below this video. And I will get back to you. I love helping people. You know, I'm just like, I just love doing this stuff. You know, I'm just a geek. What can I say? Software geek turned affiliate marketer traffic geek. It just in my blood. But anyways, again, I'll try to stay focused. So here's the data I've been getting 
down here. They show all total zones, right? One through 10. And obviously, remember I told you, you can only pick three. So I have two, zone two, zone four, and zone eight, right? Now, these are the numbers right here I've been getting. Zone two, not so good. Zone four, look at how much higher the numbers are, right? Zone eight, not so good. Even worse than zone two. I'm going to go into a little more detail later, right? So these are my views, right, that I'm getting on that ad. Now, what does this tell me? Well, just looking at these numbers roughly, I will not, if I do change my zone in three days, let me just pull this up a little bit. I'm trying to get everything on the screen here. It's just hard. Um, but anyhow, I'm trying to show the map down here as well. But I know I am going to leave zone four. Zone four has been working out really good for me, right? So that's this pink area down here. It's the southern states in Florida. The offer that I'm running now just happens to be, this is the statistics that I'm looking at. So if I want to change a zone, like I might change zone two to something else. And I haven't figured that out yet. And if, you know, zone eight, I definitely have to change. That's really, really low, right? And we said, you know, zone two, I was surprised because that's New York, right? But zone eight are the, you know, northern central states of the U.S. right here. Now, what I'm going to do is take you over on the right. You can see we've got some links here. So I'm going to look at some totals. But before I do, like, you can see these numbers here, the breakdown. So I'm looking on June 1st right here, this top row. I'm going to start in zone two. I'm going to click on that 14. This is a breakdown. So I had 14 views and out of four, those 14 views, I had nine people click on my offer, right? And that's the actual names here in bold, right? So look at that breakdown. That's pretty cool, right? Let's move over to zone number four, where I'm doing my most views. I'm clicking on the 60. So out of the 61, I've got 24 people that clicked on my link, right? 24. That's, oh, I don't know. It's not half. That's 40, 40%. 40 I'm not really doing the math real good in my head. 30, 30, right? 30 opens would be half. So I'm just near shy of that. But look at, so again, the ones in bold are the people that clicked. Let's go over to zone eight. Again, out of the 10 views, I got four people that clicked. So you can see it is a responsive traffic, right? They are clicking and that's pretty cool. So you, I've got those. So let's close that now. So I just did that for one day. Now you can do that, right? Obviously, I can take you through and bore you to death on all these days. You can click on any of these numbers. If you want to come over to the total, still sticking with June 1st here, right? So now you can look at everything from a total view. So out of the 85, 37 click. It's, you know, I don't know, I 40%. I didn't even look at these numbers before I did the video. I just decided to do a video because I want you guys, you want you to know about this traffic source. But you can see, so this is every, all the three zones combined, right? That's the results right there. We'll come down and close. So that's a pretty cool thing. So this is what I was saying earlier. When you first start, you're not gonna know what zones to pick. Just use their defaults. That's what I did. Now, how am I gonna know what to switch? By the numbers that I'm getting here, right? I'm not, I'm gonna leave zone four, but I'm gonna switch probably zone two and zone eight. If I just do one, I will probably switch zone eight. I mean, it's really a toss up between those two, but I don't know what zone I'm going to pick. I'm just going to go back, tell you the truth. I've got to listen to the video again because they do talk about the different zones and the different, you know, the reason behind each one. So once I understand that a little bit better, that's going to help me make my decision with picking my zones. So that's 
you know that's it though you guys like so step one you watch the video step two pick the zones first start just leave the default ones they have step three you're gonna edit your offer step four is all about tracking your offer just like I'm showing you here that's why it took a lot of time this is the important step right here you want to track how your campaign is doing now the next thing I want to talk about is this is also an affiliate program and the compensation plan is pretty decent as well. So remember how I was talking about three different um, offers, right? To get in when you first sign up. So say you sign up for the $60 a month and you get somebody else to sign up for that same $60 a month program, right? You're gonna collect $10 from that person, right? And then it's, it's a multi-level, so then for every person they sign up, you're going to get a, and it just goes right down the line, right? And if somebody signs up for package number two, you would receive $25 a month. And if somebody signed up for package number three, you would receive $100 a month. So for as long as they are in the program, you will get that compensation, right? So as well as being a different traffic source, you can turn around and sell this as an affiliate, right? So their affiliate program is really good. They offer you email swipes right here. Here's banners that you can use for your website or blog, right? You don't have to really do much. You just copy the text right here. Your affiliate link is in here and you paste that into your website and they've got banners for your sidebar they got big banners and small banners so again all your affiliate tools are right here and done for you so that's the affiliate program and by the way there's um, these uh, sorry newspapers alive just does not do their advertising in the US so let's go back in the track campaign if you notice we are looking at all these zones being in the US. Well, if you get at least one affiliate member under you, you'll also be able to advertise in Canada or your offers will be pushed into Canada as well. So that's a pretty cool thing. So it's another T1 traffic source, right? So we talked about, so if like I said the affiliate program yeah you can make money but you can also get your offer seen by more people that's I think even the better part right um, and then you know it's the usual stuff you can see your commissions here I just started so I do not have anybody yet and all that right it's all typical stuff you can see your downline edit your profile but this is a very simple traffic source to use newspapers alive right it's four steps step one watch video step two leave the default zones they have there's a great video explaining the reason behind all those different zones step three create your offer just keep it simple more like a capture page style that's kind of my feeling on this my take on it right now Step four is just tracking your campaign and seeing how well it's doing. And once a week, they give you the chance to adjust your zones and you can adjust or make changes to your offer at any time. That's live and dynamic. So with the offer, so there's no waiting there. You know, if something's misspelled, you want to update information, you can do all that. So that is pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video on newspapers alive and got some value out of it. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment. You can email me at lamar at directiontosuccess.com. I'm on Facebook. If you go to my website, directiontosuccess.com, I have a contact page. All that information is right there. And you may be even watching this from my website as well so you can just go down below on the bottom of the page and so hit the contact link if you want to get send me an email if you have any questions on this or affiliate marketing in general you can set up a 15 minute meet and greet appointment with me as well and with that thank you very much and i appreciate you thanks for watching if you want to see more videos like this you subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video. I love answering comments and I reply back to each and every one of them. 
And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. 